Mr Petrie. Well, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Look, I rise to uh, support the member for Mallee's uh, amendments. Uh, I very much agree with what he had to say. Uh, recently, a tribunal held that a large Australian faith-based charity, it was St Vincent de Paul, could not require their president to also be of the same faith or be expected to act consistently with the charity's beliefs. This amendment to the Marriage Amendment Bill will clarify that, and as has always been the intention of the law, faith-based charities are to be recognised as religious bodies. And yesterday, and when I spoke on the same-sex marriage debate um, the other day, I thanked the member for Leichhardt for his contribution to it. But on this issue, I do disagree because uh, ultimately, it will. This law and this bill will affect their charitable status because many of those organisations believe in the traditional view of marriage, that marriage is between a man and a woman. And the concern is, is if those religious organisations continue to believe that, in the future, what will happen to their charitable status, what will happen to those organisations? If we fast forward 10 years silence. to 2028, 20, what will happen will to those people? And, Mr Deputy Speaker, you know, speakers opposite, including the member for Isaacs, uh, and so forth have said, oh well, you know, we don't need to talk about it here, we don't need to worry about it. Um, and the reason for not debating these bills is because uh, they're saying that it'll delay uh, the passage of same-sex marriage. But the fact is, is that the Labor Party is not standing up for religious freedoms in this country. The Labor Party is not standing up for individuals and Christian-based organisations and charities in this party. In fact, for every person listening to this broadcast, you need to know that the Labor Party have not given their members a free vote. They talk about coming into this place and Order. talk about a free vote, Order. but they have not given their members a free vote. The and people in my electorate, Jason in Contaf, he's concerned that this bill leaves churches, charities and individuals open to a wide range of political and anti-discrimination attack. And Jason, I hear you. And Mr Young from Bald Hills urging me to fight for additional protections for charities. Well, the Labor Party is not fighting for you. They are not. They come into this place. They say that there's been a free vote. They've been delaying this bill for the last 18 months by not honouring the coalition's strong commitment to having a plebiscite. They voted against it. And, you know, they continue to do so. No, for every religious person, some 70 per cent of people that in the census said that they have a religion. The Labor Party is not fighting for you today. The Labor Party will not stand and be counted. And those electorates where 73 per cent no vote in Blacksland, they won't even give the member for Blacksland a say on issues like this. The member for Watson and the member for McMahon, who voted against same-sex marriage just four or five years ago, does not get a conscience vote on these amendments, nor does the member for Fowler or the member for Caldwell. Uh, the Labor Party says, no, you don't have a right to have a conscience vote on these amendments. And the fact is, the fact is for all Australians listening, is that same-sex marriage can be delivered and will be delivered today. Uh, and it could have been delivered with sensible amendments in place. And the Labor Party is running scared. They ran scared of the Australian people by not allowing a conscience vote straight up, and now they won't even give their own members sensible amendments in relation to this. And I just say it's not good enough. The Labor Party are weak, and I'll be proud to support these amendments. Thank you. I thank the honourable member for Petrie. The question is that the